Hi and welcome to Draw Plans. I'm Tom Norris and today we're going to look at how we can use the Meet Two Lines tool uh, to speed up our drawings. Uh, I, I was using uh, TurboCAD uh, for maybe <clears throat> a year or two before I got around to discovering the Meet Two Lines tools and uh, I can tell you now it's something you want to <laughs> discover perhaps earlier. Um, uh, if you're learning TurboCAD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an example of how we can use it. Obviously you can use it in many different ways but just to give you a, a quick example of how useful it can be. So first example is we're going to take a look at layout plans. So for layout plans if I'm doing uh, yeah, just generally laying out a property. So let's assume uh, I was just creating a square box and I drew a few lines down to suit the measurements, uh, I would then grab the Meet Two Lines tool here, and it's this one, this one there. Uh, now, before I move uh, or go further and sh show you anything, what I wanted to say to you was that my right tool, my right click, is bringing up a selection of tools, and it's what we call the Modify and the Line, and the Line tools. So this is the Line tools, and this is Modify. So if your right click isn't doing that, what you need to do is pop up here, top right, just right click, go to pop up toolbars, and untick anything that's ticked and just tick the modify and the line. And once you've done that and you close, you're going to have the same tools that I have now. And incidentally, I'm over here on the left, I'm using TurboCAD 2022, uh, and I'm using the deluxe version. Uh, okay, so these are the tools and we're going to be looking at how we can use the Meet Two Lines tool to speed up our drawings and uh, it's, it, it, it's an excellent little tool. So just to give you a, 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 quick, uh, a, a quick intro, so we look at these, I want to make two boxes basically. Um, so we're just clicking towards the end of the lines and So now this is a lot quicker than how I would have been doing it before. So it's, uh, you get the picture. So if, say for example, now I was extending out here. Uh, so what I could do, uh, first off, let's keep the uh, minus three, let's assume. Just creating um, to make a wall. Just that, that looks reasonable enough. So if I was doing this, grab the meet two line tools again, and what can I do? I could go with this one, uh, this one, this one, this one, and then this one it won't work with that because, uh, well, for reasons. But it'll work if I do this. So let's get it. And then I do that. Oops, I've done it the wrong. I've done it the wrong one. So I'll just reverse on that. So I want to click it in there. Now, you see how easy that was. And it's as against, you know, grabbing the ends and moving them around. So uh, let's move here. This is this is. I drew some lines down just to speed up the lesson a little because making a sash window here. Now, that's a sash window in isolation, and that's a good, reasonable representation. If we're doing, putting it on a building, then this margin wouldn't be anywhere near as big, because this actually sits behind the brickwork. So it's more like about 20, 30 mil showing, etc. So I was drawing lines on a page here. Let me just get rid of that and balance it out. I was drawing lines on for a sash, a sash window, and I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm going to do here. So I'm not going to be explaining because it'll become clear. Um, it'll, it'll become clear quite quickly what I'm doing. I just need to put a few more lines in. Um, tab 40 and tab minus 40. I haven't done all the lines there. So right, let's get to it. And first off, I'm going to do the outside lines using the meet two lines. So I want to Click on that one and click on that one. Let's 
getting a little bit. There you go. So it looks a bit, maybe I should start on the inside. Then it wouldn't be... Uh, that's probably, I've got a double line on there. Yeah, so if that happens, you've got a double line. One on top. So now, this one we know is kicking in here. And... one realistically that's not right so I'm not doing that right um, I see what the problem is when you uh, when it meets the two lines you might need to put in additional lines uh, because it gets rid of stuff oops that's not right there we go <laughs> This is a lot quicker to make, um, it's a lot quicker, I can tell you, than just doing and trying to join the, uh, the ends manually. Um, so that's there. I might as well just do that. And Okay, so technically that's not entirely right, so you have to modify a little. Uh, I could use another tool here called Line Lent, just to make this look right. There we go, and same here, because the windows pass each other, uh, the, the top section is going to be out, the top section is going to be in front of the bottom section. So there you go, it's a sash window and I'm using this little tool for, you know, 80% of the work. So it's a very quick way of hitting the corners as against doing, you know, the conventional thing here, where you then start to go back and you, yeah, so, yeah, this is how it used to be. Uh, the good old or the bad old days there you go so it's much quicker if you just do it like what I just did uh, which is meet two lines now if you click here it'll cut off the long section so just just you'll have to play with it but you'll soon find out where to click on the line to get the end result that you desire uh, Okay, so we're going to leave that and move to the last section. So here we're doing a casement window and I've put in very little lines, but I'm going to use a combination of two or three tools here. Uh, but the meet two lines tool will be the number one. Uh, so before, let, let, before I do anything, let's just square this off so we have a better idea. So I'm going to complete just so that I've got a basic rectangle. Uh, and incidentally, uh, when you're making windows and so on, you can start out with a square or rectangle if that works for you. Uh, a lot of the time I end up having lines, but uh, uh, that's okay too. So now over here on the right, I'm going to use the parallel tools. Now the parallel are very useful for uh, doing windows. So we're going to do the frame. Frame is showing about 40 mil. So tab four zero. Uh, tab minus four zero coming down uh, going left tab mi minus four zero and coming up tab four zero so you know that if you're going up uh, there's no minus but if you're going backward as in if you're going down or going to the left you pop the minus in when you when you're uh, putting the numbers in so now this one down here, that generally represents the sill and so if I was to use this line I can correct that because um, the sill runs the whole way across and the frame stops at the top of the sill. So now that's basically going to use my meet two lines tool again just to complete the frame. 
Now what we want to do is section it into three sections. We can do it accurately or we can do it, well, let's do it accurately. Uh, I could just draw a line. And that line is what? It's 1762. So if I just use a calculator, 762 divided by 3, I've come up with 587. So 587 is roughly what it is. So I go tab 587. This one will come from here, tab minus 587. So that's the breakdown. So now you can see we've got a breakdown on the window. Uh, so let's get these done. So in my, my experience, we're now looking at around 50 mil for the frame of the actual intersections of the window. So tab 50, and this one, tab minus Two five. You know, I'll explain this in a minute. Tab two five. Tab minus two five. Tab two five. Tab minus five zero. Tab minus fifty. I don't always talk out loud, by the way. If I was doing this on my own, it'd be it wouldn't be a murmur out of me. So it's because I'm doing it for your benefit, uh, but I don't have the need to uh, talk out loud when I'm doing it, just in case you're wondering. Yeah. Uh, right, so now uh, the redundant lines are these. That was just to make sure we were centered. So now let's start using our meet two lines tool. And you'll see that when I do that, it cuts away the line. So let's just do the bottom and then uh, so it cuts off the rest of the line. So what you do is you just do that, just do a couple of lines, a couple of sections there, and you'll be fine. And back up again. And now you have all the lines in place that you need to uh, get your casement window up and running. Now, I think I forgot to do the line there. Uh, now you see how quick and handy it is to have the right click button giving you the tools you need. Now, um, in most cases you get a window and it has a box here. So in other words, it has a fan light at the top here. So what we do, we just throw a few more lines in. That and then say 50 down, tab minus 50. So here again now we get our need two lines. And we're going to have to draw a few more lines in. Me two lines. And there you go, casement window. Um, so hopefully you got the idea. Uh, but like I say, if you don't have the uh, the tools on the right click, I'll remind you. You go back up here, right click and go for the pop-up toolbars and do line and modify and remove anything else and that will give you the tools you need exactly where you need them okay i hope you got some value out of this lesson it's a, for me it's a really useful tool um, for for drawing and it's used and you know if you're using it for so many different things but it really will speed up your drawing so Initially, it might feel a little bit awkward, especially if you're not used to using the right-click tools. Like you're moving over here each time or moving to the left, but uh, push for it and get into the habit of doing it, and it really will help you. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I'll uh, see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe or just at the very least uh, hit the like button. Uh, thanks a bunch. See you soon. Bye-bye.